Hi, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Session, Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Okay, we're over at the machine working on the uh, layered file. And you can use this for vinyl, HTV, cardstock, really anything that requires a layer. And layer meaning like in a cake, in lasagna, anything that stacks. Now, this is HTV that I'm going to be making this layered file out of. It's a thin HTV, not real thick and bulky. Plus, it's going on a jacket, so I'm not too picky about it. When I created the file, I did not trim this. Um, again, because it's nice and thin vinyl. Um, it's not glitter vinyl. Um, glitter, you only need to worry about if glitter will be on the bottom. You can always put glitter on the top, but you never want to put it on the bottom. And I've heard people say they do it. Well, that's fine if you do it, but we will never recommend doing it because it usually doesn't stick real well, doesn't adhere really well. And most uh, of the glitter makers like Sizer and that will tell you don't do it. All right, so let's go ahead and pick up a file. Oh, well, we know when we do that that there's something wrong with the way that the file saved. And in uh, Scal, like I said, remember that um, I've been having trouble with the text features, and that's probably what happened. Um, when you try to do the file and you try to save it, sometimes it'll shoot the word off to the edge and you can't find it. It'll put it where you can't even retrieve it. So I'm going to go back in and see if I can just fix the file, and I'll be back. Okay, I want to show you. This is a fresh load, a fresh start from this morning. It looks like everything is A-OK. -okay. I just built this file after a fresh startup. If this happens to you and everything looks A-OK, -okay, I'm going to actually decrease this to 10% doesn't look like anything's there right come up here to edit select all <laughs> see how big that got there's something hiding so grab this and pull it over look that word was tucked all the way over there all right how it got there I have no idea but that's why that file just shut down that machine because this word was tucked all the way over there and I would never have seen it and never have known Okay, so if your machine does that, turns white and shuts down, that's why. There's something wrong. There's something hidden um, that is off the mat. So come in, go to edit, select all, and you'll probably be able to find it. Okay, so let's try this again. And it should work. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's just start moving these down because remember we want to stack. Okay, and now we want to add. Oh, let's see, which one was it? Is it four? Nope. Nope. I think it was two. Nope. Oops. There we go. Okay. And I'll take these away for right now. And those away. And we'll unify that. Okay, so that looks pretty close. Bring that one down. We'll try to unify those two. Okay, it's just easier to move them. <clears throat> you don't necessarily need to, but I find it's easier to move them. Okay. 
So let's highlight everything to make sure our lines are not crossed. Get everything as close as we possibly can. Without touching. And I gotta check my three at the top, make sure it's not touching that one. <clears throat> nope, we're good there. Good there. Let's bring this down a smidge. go. All right. So that looks good. Okay. So now we will cut it. And I have my cut on about three quarters. It's not even at a one. I have my pressure at a minus one. My speed is at a three. Okay. So let me show you. I've pre-assembled these and they're not like exactly 100% on. I just have them stuck together so I can get them down to my heat press. Okay, but let me show you. This will go down first. Try to get it in here a little better for you. So I will press this down. Okay, so then I'll peel this layer off and it'll be just the white. Then I'll bring in this red foil and I'll lay it on top and then it'll be easy. So if I get it and it looks like that, well that doesn't look good. Geez, look how off that is. Well, I just lift it up and it won't be that sticky because it'll just be on material. And then I reposition it. And there, that looks 100% better. So I get it on there, looks good. Boom, push my heat press down, seal it for the intended time that's needed. This is layering and this is how you do it. I use a heat press, okay, so I press it with my press for HTV with um, Oracal in that. I layer it, you know, just like this because th pretend that this is that. Then I just squeegee it on um, with the scraper um, and then with paper of course you just layer it on top and um, put some glue or the uh, glue gun. This is the this is the glue gun that I have. The big old honking pink one. So that's what layering is um, and it's called layering in scale or it's called I think it's create offset in uh, canvas. So that's how you do it. Um, that's the technique. Um, if you guys have any questions you can find me over at scan and cut canvas and scale help on Facebook. Um, once again though I do not use registration marks. And unless you're shipping things, I try not to even pre-assemble them um, like this. If someone were to take and put this down and actually try to put it on there just like this, it would ruin it, okay? Because there are layers in here, all right? So this, this is that, that uh, protective layer on top. So this would be ruined. Um, so if somebody doesn't know what they're doing, you would not want to ship this like that, okay? All right, guys, have a good day.